Welcome to From a Musician's Perspective, a video series where we share pieces of knowledge from our journey in music. My name is Yu Heng. I play viola in the SEO Symphony Orchestra, and in this video, we're going to talk about the method I use for practicing excerpts. Throughout the course of your time as a musician, you'll probably find yourself wanting to participate in a variety of music programs, summer festivals, and orchestras. They provide opportunities to make great music, meet new friends, and work with esteemed musicians. However, to get in, you'll likely have to audition, and many audition requirements ask applicants to perform short selections of music, known as excerpts. They can often be challenging, um, fun, and daunting because of the fact they're often taken out of context and the part in the piece in which the excerpt is taken from is often unclear. However, with proper techniques and the right mindset, you can make that much more interesting and less challenging. Today I'll be showing everyone a four-step guide I use to most effectively prepare excerpts as well as some tips for practicing them to help you ace any audition. The first thing you should do when you look in an excerpt for the first time is to listen to the piece that the excerpt was taken from. Find a recording of the music on YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Music and listen for pleasure. This is crucial as it will help put your mind in the feeling of the piece before you start playing. By knowing what the piece sounds like, you will not only be able to play the notes printed on the page, but express the character of the music, something that will make you stand out in an audition. Excerpts, when played on their own, are frequently bland and uninteresting. However, we must understand that they are parts of a whole, critical puzzle pieces that make up a musical work. Therefore, in order to play an excerpt well, one must know the exact part of the music where the excerpt is taken from, or if that's not possible, what the music may sound like as a whole. When playing, you must feel as if you're part of the orchestra even though you're the only one. Identify where exactly in the music your excerpt is located. You can find sheet music videos on YouTube or a copy of your part on IMSLP to find it, or simply by listening closely. After you have found where in the piece the excerpt was taken from, backtrack to about one minute before your excerpt begins and listen to about one minute after it has ended. Repeat this process until you know exactly what the music before, during, and after the excerpt sounds like. If possible, also follow along with a full score to understand what other instruments are doing and how it fits with your part. This will give you a thorough understanding of the entirety of the excerpt and the musical context in which it was situated, and hopefully bring more life into your interpretation. Now that you've listened to the excerpt and know the part of the piece it's from, you're ready to begin working on the excerpt. Do not jump straight in and start hammering away at full tempo. Start slowly, making sure you're playing in time with the music. Set the metronome to a speed that you're able to play all of the notes accurately in. I recommend half the printed speed if shown and work your way up from there. For example, if the marking is quarter note equals 120, you might want to start playing through the excerpt at quarter note equals 60. If the tempo is too slow to play accurately, divide the beat up into eighth notes to make it easier. Play the excerpt through and only move on to a faster tempo when you're able to accurately play all the notes and express all elements of music. There's five elements to keep in mind. Rhythm, intonation, articulation, dynamics, and a good tone. If you play something out of tune slowly, it's guaranteed to be out of tune when it's fast. After you have familiarized yourself with the excerpt while incorporating all of the previously mentioned musical elements, begin increasing the tempo in small increments. I recommend about five to 10 beats per minute, but it's up to you to decide what you're comfortable with. If you find increasing the metronome mark by a certain amount is too much, dial it back down to a speed that you feel like you can play all the notes while maintaining proper rhythm, intonation, articulation, dynamics, and tone. This type of practice is what differentiate great players from others. While most will simply rush through what's on the page, by taking time to slow it down and incorporating all aspects of music, you're able to produce a clear and accurate performance in an audition and have a dramatically better chance of getting into your dream orchestra or ensemble. Regardless of whether or not the final audition is live or not, record yourself frequently, ideally every time you practice the excerpt. Most of us perceive what we sound like when we play completely differently from what we actually sound like. Therefore, a recording allows us to hear ourselves in a more critical and objective manner and lets us have a fresh perspective to our playing. 
Making a recording also allows you to simulate a performance or audition, as it forces you to play through the entirety of the music without stopping, something you'll have to do in an audition. For notable excerpts that frequently show up in the auditions, there are a variety of resources out on the internet to help you out. There are many YouTube videos of musicians playing, explaining, and teaching different excerpts, which can greatly aid in your preparation of them and provide you with new ideas and perspectives to incorporate into your playing. One of the most fun things I like to do when practicing excerpt is to put on headphones and play along with my favorite recording. It is so great because you get to immerse yourself in the actual music the excerpt was taken from and feel like you're actually playing an orchestra in the piece. It can also help greatly with your understanding of the excerpt's rhythm, dynamics, and allow yourself to check your intonation. Now let's recap. First, listen to the piece, then know the context of the excerpt in relation to the larger musical work. Know exactly where the excerpt was taken from and know the music before and afterwards. Start by practicing the excerpt slow with the metronome and gradually speed up to the full tempo and record yourself frequently and listen back to them to fix errors. Thanks for watching. Check out other videos made by fellow musicians at SCO to see their perspectives into music as well. Be sure to also subscribe to SCO's YouTube channel and follow SCO's other social media pages to see what we're up to.